Happy July, everyone. We have very unique energy happening this month. It does happen once a year, but every year when it happens, it's very eye-opening. And if you use this energy this month specifically, appropriately, it can totally transform your 2024. So listen up. But before we get into that, what are these monthly feng shui forecasts? Monthly, I share with you the energy that's coming in in your environment every month so that you can use the energy in your environment to your advantage. Like, when you are working towards a goal, you have the wind at your back, the energy at your back, rather than trying to fight against it so that you can multiply your efforts so that you can manifest your desires faster. I'm Jeanette Zizikowski, your go-to feng shui consultant. Daily, I'm working with the motivated, the successful, and the inspired to do just that. Use their energy in their environment so that they can enjoy their life's journey on the way to their many destinations. We've got a unique phenomenon happening this month. It does happen once a year. Every year we get a glimpse of the next year's energy. In this case, next year is 2024. And while it will still be mixing with this year, the 2023 energy, and so it won't be an exact predictor and it won't be exactly the same, you're getting a little bit of a sample into how do you react to the energy that's coming in next year. In the center here, so these the large number is the 2023 energy and the small number is this July, but it's also what will be replacing the big numbers next year. So next year in 2024, this big number will be a three, four, five. And so that's what I mean by you're seeing a little bit of a glimpse of next year already. So with that in mind and knowing that, knowing that we're getting a sample of 2024 and we're going to see how we show up in 2024, knowing that, how are you going to show up this month? How are you going to act this month so that you send major waves and ripple effects into next year? How do you want to show up this month? What is something you finally want to accomplish, check off, get done? or manifest so that next year you can be starting from a whole nother level. I use this analogy somewhat frequently, but it's important to always be putting our best foot forward and always be trying to move ahead because different years we get different energy, different months we get different energy. Some really can catapult us. So if we're working to be our best and do our best and climb the ladder, let's say, or climb the staircase, if we get to step five, and this amazing 2024 energy comes in or this amazing July energy comes in that can just totally help us skip the next five and put us on put us on step 10. But if we're just kind of sitting and waiting and hanging out at step one and just chilling, waiting for life to happen to us. When good energy comes in, it's still going to boost you ahead. It'll boost you ahead the same steps, but maybe only to step three or maybe only to step five. So we always want to be climbing that ladder, climbing that staircase so that we can have these jump off from these higher jumping off points. So with that said, how can you use this month's energy to climb the steps so that next year when 2024 comes in, you're jumping off from step five rather than step one? Feng shui in your space is all about using the external energy to your advantage. And now I'm not sure how you came across this channel or how you fell into feng shui, but most people have gotten very good at meditating. They've gotten very good at thinking positive. They've gotten very good at regularly working out. And feng shui is something they come to later. Feng shui is something that they come to when they're running out of resources, when all of that working on their internal energy stuff is only taking them so far and they feel plateaued. So then they start to think like, what's the next layer here? How can I reach my potential even faster? What else can I be using? And feng shui usually presents itself to them and then you end up on this channel. So maybe you've been struggling with knowing what to do next. Maybe you're here on feng shui because you're wanting to tap into using your external energy more because your internal energy is pretty maxed out. Well, Speaking of working with the motivated, successful, and the inspired, and speaking of setting goals like we do in these monthly feng shui forecasts every month, right now the doors to my feng shui DIY program, it's called Feng Shui Your Lifestyle, are currently open until July 7th. So right now I'm filming this and uploading this on July 2nd, and the doors to this program close on July 7th. This is for the women who are always looking to get ahead, to get to that next step, to get to that higher level so they have a higher jumping off point, but maybe they're running out of resources or they're just a little confused and don't have clarity on what resource to use next. And so for the first time, I am offering 
guidance along the way with this feng shui or lifestyle program raise your hand if you find it easier to complete the commitments that you make to others but have trouble setting boundaries and keeping commitments to yourself so many of us are so much better with accountability or following through on a promise we make to somebody else and breaking the promises that we keep to our that we make to ourselves right so normally this is a self-paced program that you can join at any point throughout the year it's on my website so even after doors close on July 7th, you can still get this, but this July it is at a lower investment price and there will be group, it's hard for me to say, group clarity calls along the way to accommodate those women who thrive on accountability. I am certainly one of them. Getting to the gym is way easier if I have a trainer to not disappoint. Doing other things, it's way easier for me to get that deadline to not disappoint other people. And so like how many of us have started a course and not finished it because there weren't the checkpoints or the deadlines? That is, if that is you, then July is the perfect time to join this. Again, a lower investment price and clarity calls along the way where we're going to be talking about any of your feng shui questions, any of the nitty gritty, like actual how does feng shui work, but also what's my energy going on what other areas of your life do you need clarity on with energy what resources do you specifically need this feng shui is going to help you but also as a projector with a lot of different corporate experience and life experience we can help together discuss how to attack the next steps to get you even further everyone i've asked who's already in this program and just who's been thinking about the program have said that it would be beneficial to have these clarity calls. And so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and add those. I cannot promise that I will ever include these clarity calls again. We're going to give it a go. We're going to see how it goes, but I can't promise it's ever going to go down like this again. So if you're somebody who has been eyeing this feng shui or lifestyle program, or just eyeing feng shui in general, like you've been wanting to take your life to the next level. Like I said, you meditate, you eat well, you do all of the internal energy things and you're ready to let feng shui help you and let feng shui multiply your efforts. I also can't agree that this will ever be at this price point again. So it's a very unique time and unique opportunity. And it's also perfectly timed. Every, nothing's a coincidence. I perfectly timed it with the energy of July and August. So this is a great time to do it. As you wrap up the second half of 2023, where do you want to be in 2024? How many goals did you set in January that you've accomplished, that you followed through on? How many things were you hoping and wishing for at the beginning of the year? And six months have already gone by. How do you want these next six months to go? And again, July's energy, it shows you a glimpse of 2024. And the way you show up this month is how is going to multiply your efforts in 2024. Using this tool and committing to yourself might be the way you want to show up. Let this program help get you out of your funk or get out of that lack of momentum. You know, the holidays are over. I kind of see 4th of July as like the last big holiday of the year. And then we don't have any holidays to hide behind. Now we really have to focus on what do we want to get done by the end of the year. But okay, I know you are here for the energy. So let's balance it out. Let's look at what energy is coming in this month and how to use it to our advantage, shall we? When you balance the elements in your home, life can run smoother. There's less combative energy. There's less conflict and more ease. I am a big proponent of using the energy combinations that support your intention. So using the energy in your space, not just placing something, but there is, we aren't just placing anything. We are placing elements to balance the elements. This is how feng shui works at the most basic level. And I understand that for some people it's, nicer to like physically place the elements and physically place something that represents the element to help chill it out because it helps them feel more in control rather than just using the certain direction that month they feel better when everything is balanced and they've placed something there i get it so here are the different elements that each direction needs to be calm this month you can see we have a lot of metal with place these elements so whether it's your six chinese coins your wulu place these objects place these elements with a strong intention of creating peaceful positive and productive home that's everything's about giving your space attention with intention don't just place things or clean things up without the intention behind it because the point is to like infuse your energy and infuse your intention with your space and then the energy goes okay i know what to do now it's like giving it instruction 
So you can see that we have a lot of metal here. The north, south, and southwest all have good energy combinations that we're going to dive into further. So you don't need to mitigate any energy there. We're going to talk about it and how to use it. The northwest, the west, the east, and southeast all need some kind of metal. In some directions, it's to lessen the, com lessen the combativeness and um, lessen the conflict. There's a lot of different conflict in the... It's different kinds. It's different arguments. It's different legal this or that or so just we want to smooth it all out by placing some metal in all these directions that you see the symbols in <laughs> in all of them in the northeast both of the metal energies six and seven are coming in here this year slash month and so what we do is we give the metal something to cut we give the metal something to focus on which is wood so to suppress the wood energy we put three bamboo stalks in the northeast everything else is suppressing this is the twos coming in, so that is suppressing that energy, the combativeness, etc. Okay, so now let's talk about the best energies to use so that we can accomplish our goals faster. It's kind of funny because I only had to copy paste this slide this year, this year, this month, because last month north, south, west, and south were the most ideal as well. So let me look down here at our notes to see what's coming to, at my notes to see what's coming in. If you are focused on relationships this month and you're really trying to call in better relationships, smooth relationships, maybe a new love, a new partner, the direction that you want to be using is the South. The South is where all of that like fun, flirty, cute, new relationship energy is. This is also good for work relationships, for friendships. That is in the South, and that is the direction you want to be using, drinking your morning coffee. If it's just a door, if it's just a window, in this example, they have like a patio. So sitting out here with the coffee, using it, thinking about your intentions, journaling in that area, getting very clear on what you want relationship-wise, and using the energy that month, knowing that that person is on their way to you, knowing that your relationships that are maybe a little bit more sticky are going to clear themselves up. That is the direction that you want to be using there. Also, I mean, honestly, in the North as well, North is new celebration. So this is for something that's already a little bit more developed to a certain degree. This can be graduations, it's happy events, it's celebrations, it's weddings, it's just new business ventures, it's new projects, it's new things. So while I think the South is a little bit more of a flirty vibe, so it's like fresh and starting something, like cultivating something, the North is a little bit more like closing the deal or signing up something pretty serious. Like, yes, I'm committing to this new project. Yes, I'm committing to this new idea. So think of your goal that you have for this month. Do you need help with work and money and projects? That is this North energy. Are you looking to plan a graduation? Are you looking to plan any events? That's also good for the North. Are you looking to get some, are you looking to just bring in some more excitement into your life? Some more happy events and like hangouts with new people. That's also the North. And then in the Southwest, this one is best for money specifically. If you're looking to make more money, cultivate more money, get a business loan, get a loan, pay off some credit cards, take action on earning more money, that is the Southwest this month. We have nine and one together, which together equals 10, which is always great for money. It, we don't know what is in the base energy of your home, so we don't know what else it's mixing with, but that's okay because when the month and annual energy come together, things happen very quickly. So spurts of money, spurts of a raise, any clarity on how to ask for a raise, how to ask for a mentor to get further in your career, to be seen in your job position, that is the Southwest this month. Now we get into our action item. Every year, every month I add in this action item for you to help you get going because maybe you don't know. Maybe you're like, I'm so brain dead. I don't know how to use the energy to my advantage. And so I give you things. Last month was like, last month was like the simplest action item I've ever done. And <laughs> it was find your pump up song. It was find your pump up song so that you could stay motivated motivated throughout the month that had slow energy last month our energy was duplicated so not a lot was progressing not a lot was like 
getting done necessarily and it was feeling very like blah so that pump up song hopefully got you through it how did that go comment below what song you chose because i haven't heard from too many of you but you guys have to have a favorite song don't be shy what's your favorite song what's a song that really gets you pumped up and then this month's action item if july energy is a sample of 2024 how do you want to show up in 2024 i kind of gave you that spiel in the beginning i've got three examples of how you can do this though this month and really pick the one that's best for you because I want you to love 2024 and I want you to finish off this year strong. I love watching people progress. I love hearing people feel, feel fulfilled and love their life. It's so important. Like we only live once. We are all going to die. <laughs> Newsflash. And so use these moments. Life is not meant to just walk through it with our head down. Life is meant to be enjoyed even through the difficult times. So I've got three examples for you to choose from. If you're someone who tends to throw their clothes on the ground or pile them up in a chair, get in the habit this month, make your action step, make your action item to get in the habit of immediately putting things away. Immediately put the coat away, immediately put the shoes away, immediately put things in the hamper. Don't just throw it on the ground or throw it in the chair or hang it over a chair or hang it on a door immediately put these things away. That's for somebody. I know that's going to speak to somebody. The second one, if you're somebody who snoozes 10 times in the morning and you hate that habit, there's certain like personal development books that are like, don't push snooze, get up on the first one. Um, some people feel differently about that. Some people like that they're a snoozer. Some people wish they weren't. If that's something that resonates with you, this is the month to cut that out for 30 days. Can you not hit snooze? and you just wake up on the first alarm. And lastly, if you're wanting to be an example for yourself that you care about learning, that you care about growing your personal development, that you care about enjoying life every day and living life to its fullest every day, and you're loving improving yourself and learning more about yourself, consider joining the Feng Shui Your Lifestyle program details are in the description of this video again the doors close on july 7th but what an action step to take before 2024 specifically in this month this is not i was gonna say this is not a drill people this is not not done on purpose i am purposely using the energy of this month to help move you help you help yourself <laughs> how have these feng shui forecasts helped you how have they been implementing you what changes have you seen? What slow momentum have you seen? The thing with feng shui is that I hate to say it because it makes it sound like everybody wants instant gratification. Feng shui is like, in my experience, the slowest moving modality. Like meditating, you immediately feel most, of, a lot of the time you feel immediate results. Feng shui, you can feel something instantly, but to see those really big changes, it kind of has to compound over time and it can take 30 days. It can take 60 days, it can take 90 days. That's why in my one-on-one -on -one packages, I have check-in calls because I'm like, stick with it. We can see it. It's happening. It's building. You just met that person. This thing just happened. How have these been compounding for you? How have you felt staying committed to yourself? And if you're not committed, if you're not commenting on these videos every month, if you're not showing up every month, how is that feeling? Is it something that you want to be doing? Is there something I could be doing better to help you? share these how have these forecasts been helping you share these forecasts with a friend who's looking to pick up that momentum in their life and don't forget to subscribe i will see you next saturday